So the first part of your question is how does Odoo handle uh, new orders being placed when there's not enough stock to fulfill that order? And I'm going to go through this workflow to show you what that looks like. So if I go look at my products right now, I have Nick's product and I have 100 units on hand and a forecasted availability of 100 units. If I go and sell this product, If I sell 100 units, looks fine. If I sell 101 units, it tells me I don't have enough stock on hand in order to sell that. I only have, it tells me 100 units. So it will tell you how much you actually have to sell. Now, let's sell the 100 units. Confirm this. And instantly, once that's done, the delivery order is created and Odoo automatically reserves the 100 units on hand for this order, sale order number 20. And how do we know that this is ready to be picked? If we go into our delivery orders here, we'll see we have 10 to process, waiting our eight, late 18, one back order. If we look at the 10 to process and we look up um, sale order number 20, you'll see it's ready. It's ready. This your team every morning will go in and say, what do we have to process? And all these that are ready to process, it means that the stock is available, that if they're all reserved, you'll see the quantity reserved matches the demand for all of them. Not this one. And the reason for that is it has to do with as soon as possible shipping policy. So this means when if you change it to when all products are ready, it would not be available because all the products aren't ready. But with the, with the shipping policy being set as, as soon as possible, it will tell you that you have to, you have to uh, pick the items which are available. Let me go here. So if I go check availability, and if I print out a picking, it will only print the one that's available. And watch what happens. If I go ahead and validate this and apply, this will tell me, do you want to create the back order because you haven't processed all these products yet? And um, yes, your team is going to want to create a back order to fulfill the rest of that. So they'll create the back order. And just like that, and this is warehouse out number 11, the one we just processed. So now we need to see the source document 7. Let's go back to our delivery orders. You won't see source document 7 here anymore. Why? Because it's not ready. You'll now have nine in the waiting. And you'll, if you open that up, you'll see cell order 07 is a source document for those three remaining items currently in the waiting stage. So your team will always have visibility into what needs to be picked and processed here. Again, let's go through and see what else. Everything should, for the most part, be reserved. Same concept here, if you look at this, as soon as possible. If I were to change this from as soon as possible to when all products are ready, it should move it into a different stage. So if I look there now, waiting. Pull this open. When all products are ready. This one's ready. Let's try with this one. See, it went to the waiting stage here because it's not ready. Let's do another one. This one should work as well. Now watch up here. Change this to when all products are ready. Sets it to draft. And when I save it, it's now waiting. So if we go look at our overview, the number of waiting are increasing, the number of to process are staying the same. Now, if you can have that all set by default at the, uh, at the actual uh, order level. So let's first, we have this order, sell order 20, back to what the one we started with for the 100 units. Let's go sell another, another 50 units here. We don't have any in stock. It's okay. We can still sell 50. 
That's fine. Confirm. Generates the delivery order. And you'll see set order 21 in the waiting column now. Here. There it is. And it's waiting because we don't have anything reserved. What we can do is we can go to what we have to process here. And we can unreserve these. And it moves this into the waiting. And let's say they want to expedite that order. 21. Oops, not product. That's why this. Now I can check availability and reserve 50 against this order. And I can validate it and process it. And let's say I want to ship the 50 from the other order for whatever reason. Uh, that is in waiting, and it's number 20 from the pick list. I can reserve the remaining 50 here. And again, if I validate it, Odoo's going to want to create a back order. There's 50 that you haven't processed here. Create the back order, and Odoo generates a new record with source document to 20. And you'll see this is warehouse 23. And under waiting, here it is, a back order of number 23. This is number 26. And it's the 50 remaining products here. And if I check availability, nothing's available. So that should explain to you the way that the um, inventory transfers work. If you have any